a major breakthrough. Scientists of the ICR and DRI have produced a cough using a combination of three techniques, cloning, IVF and ovum pickup. They have reduced the generation interval by 9 to 10 months. They produced cow. Uh, they produced two generations of cow in 39 months. We have joined with the director of ICR and DRI, Dr. Dheer Singh, to know more about uh, this technique. Sir, how is this technique different from the traditional technique? Thank you very much. Uh, the traditional and this is not a difference actually the technique. What uh, if you know actually the India, we are number one in milk production. And we are also producing 25% of the milk of the world. But there is a question always raised that the productivity of animal means the total milk production by per animal is a bit uh, not as good as it should be. So what we have done actually the, you already know that the NDRI has through hand added uh, this cloning technology we have proven actually to be cloned the animal of desired actually any animal NDRI can clone whether it is bull or the high yielding animal. So recently we have actually cloned one gear. And now the gear has been matured and from matured animal we have aspirated actually the uva, oocyte and oocyte has been in vitro matured and then is transferred to the actually the surrogate mother. So 18 months actually in 18 months also animal we have taken oocyte from 18 months and there is a large population of oocyte extracted from the mature 18 months. And after 18 months we did the actually experiment uh, make the embryo and transfer it. So now we can able to produce actually the animal, the two generation in 39 months. Otherwise in general is basically it is generally take, going to be take in, on average from 18 to 24 months at least. Uh, and if we multiply by 24 and 2, then 48 hours, 40, 40, 40, uh, 48 a month. So in general actually we can say we have reduced 10 generation, two generation in 39 we have proven it. Sir, so this uh, is the actually sir. because this may help into the multiplication of animal as well as very high yielding animal we can clone it and then we can multiply through ovum pickup technology both technology has been well established standardized in at ndri also so you took uh, eggs from the uh, cloned animal ganga uh, was uh, uh, was she at uh, maturity level at that time no no animal in general whether it is clone animal or normal animal is generally matured in case of cow from 18 to 24, 24 months and sometimes it takes more than 24 months. But generally animal if come into the majority even after 28 month, uh, 18 month or 19 month, they have to be a normal mating and normal mating generally happens when animal is going to be analyzed for the, they show the sign of stress. Then it generally it is going for 24 months. In general we cannot go with it. So after the AI, it is going to be produced only one but now mature animal through ultra guide, uh, ultrasound guided uh, we identify that the ovary is mature oocyte is mature and we can see it and then we expected the oocyte and we did this but so that is the purpose that we can multiplication can be shorter time that's actually we demonstrated today any challenge uh, the scientists have faced during the uh, uh, this technology okay the clo both cloning as well as open pickup is a well established a standardized technique at NDRI we are doing from decades. But as far as this part, this challenge is only that we have to be observed and take the oocyte from this. And uh, with us, uh, the, the scientist Dr. Niro, uh, Dr. Naresh Silokar is with us. He did all the experiment. So he may be telling the challenge, but I personally believe there is no challenge. Only we have observed something new. What we have discussed with Naresh and you can see from he, he is going to be shared with also. This particular, maybe this is the extra care the animal I have taken or, but there is a large number of oocyte we are able to extract which generally not in normal case. He is telling probably 40 to 50 oocyte has been aspirated from a one single ovary of the animal, which generally we do not observe what is perception. But this is the first time perception we observed. Let us see actually and, and what, what happened. What make it, so you what, can, what you makes, can ask uh, the last question, answer. last question from you. What makes it a different, uh, what makes it a breakthrough globally? Uh, this uh, the, uh, the birth of this car. Okay, globally, this technology we have uh, well already studied earlier. Cloning has been established abroad. We standardize at NDRI. Our cloning was only the success. We do not require a large, a sophisticated equipment. So hand guided. But the open pickup is also established before. But what we did is that we wanted to make the elite animal, Dudharu animal, jisko kehte hai, very precious animal in shorter time. So that's actually the combination of cloning and oocyte open pickup 
has established that the, we can produce large number of animal to generation within nine. Now the oocyte is not the only one animal. We have already taken oocyte mature and large number of embryo has been transferred to other animals also. They are some of already pregnant and so we can produce the 39 from one animal we can produce several animal within the very short period of time. So that's actually the importance is that. So Dr. Naresh Silorkar, uh, please brief about the technology and uh, about your success. Yeah, the, so as direct sir mentioned, uh, what we have a challenge is that uh, the productivity of animal. When the Ganga was born, from the day of her birth, we have been analyzing each and every aspect, like we analyze the telomere length, we analyze the cytokine profile, everything was analyzed and we have been monitoring her puberty when the animal is reached. Instantly before the reaching her puberty at 18, 16 to 18 months, we ultrasonographically seen the follicular development. And before coming into the heat, we thought to can it possible to collect the oocyte from that Ganga and produce the offspring. And that was our that experiment success. So yeah. before attaining actual puberty coming into the heat, so we collect the oocyte and then fertilize them into the laboratory and then transfer into the Saival cattle since we have a recipient, any recipient can be used. And the calf you are seeing, that was our the success. The clone so was what, of Gear. Yeah, Gear, Gear was uh, the clone. So what the impact is that if you have any elite animal, so that elite animal, you can clone it at very early age. Even if it's a diet, you can clone it, make a two, three copy and then multiply through OPU IVF. So that diversity genetic pool can be maintained in the population. Why, why we have chosen cow? Yeah, because you see our uh, India's milk bucket, you can say, the 50% of contribution of cow and the indigenous cattle milk, indigenous cattle has been playing a very important role in rural economy. So we wanted to produce a high yielding animals of indigenous breed. Either it is a ghee or saival or tharparkar, whatever it may be. So we wanted to multiply them at a faster rate. And that's why we chosen the cattle. Thank so, you. So Thank these, you. these are the scientists of uh, ICR and DRI who, uh, who got a breakthrough, major breakthrough in the history of uh, animal production animal uh, reproduction and uh, they they have produced a calf uh, is using a combination of three techniques uh, i cloning ivf and uh, <coughs> in vitro uh, fertilization and ovum pickup uh, they 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 have uh, produced a calf from the eggs of a cloned animal and uh, now the calf is healthy and is <coughs> is doing well at cattle yard of ndri arvin aroda tribune